Okay, so just going to make some important notes uh, about the differences between the uh, the automatic and the manual um, because it is going to affect uh, the the engine removal uh, a little bit. Uh, we just so happen to have here um, we're kind of lucky really. We've got a we do actually have an automatic and a manual S4 gearbox uh, here in the workshop. This is the obviously the automatic, and uh, this the smaller one is the manual. Uh, the length of these is uh, about the same. Um, the, the, the spacer on the end is, is slightly different, so you know, it might be a centimetre or two different in, in the length. Uh, but as you can see, it's kind of the overall size uh, difference between these two. The automatic has a lot more kind of um, girth to it. You see all this bit is kind of all rounded and kind of bulbous, whereas on the uh, manual, it actually sculpts away and becomes a slim line. Uh, again, where the uh, drive shafts are attached, you can see how chunky all this is uh, here compared to on the, the manual where again it's, it's much uh, much much smaller and um, so overall the, the manual from um, although like I said the the height obviously the same and the uh, the length is the same the physical kind of girth of it uh, the automatic is, is quite a lot bigger now the way that, that this is going to affect uh, the removal depending on whether you have an auto or a manual in your car is uh, the space that you're going to have uh, to remove that engine. Uh, you'll see when we get to the engine removal um, process, uh, when you start to uh, to lift the engine, there's not a massive amount of space between the kind of the top of the, um, the bulkhead at the back of the engine and this uh, gearbox. When you start to uh, to lift it, it will soon hit, and so you, that's the point where you kind of have to shovel and move it forward. This will make kind of sense to you as, as we get towards the end of the video. Uh, but if you can imagine that the um, that the back of the firewall is there. Uh, then you're going to have much less space to be able to lift this than you would if you had the manual. The manual is all nice and sculpted and, and, and taken away. Uh, so that makes that quite a lot easier uh, in that respect. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is the uh, drive shafts. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can see how far out this bit sticks out compared to, to that bit kind of bit. I, I appreciate they're the opposite way around, uh, but you know, they're pretty similar on both sides. Uh, but you can see this is chunky. This is quite... Um, uh, you know, Con concave rather than convex if you like and um, so obviously the, the drive shafts are at different lengths as well and that's something that we're going to be looking at uh, in just a, just a minute is getting those front drive shafts removed uh, it's much much easier uh, if you have a manual uh, they can be removed uh, kind of in situ fairly easily uh, it was a lot harder on the uh, on the automatic so basically the long and short of it is the automatic is, a, is the uh, slightly harder uh, option to, uh, to get removed and uh, if you have the automatic, you've kind of just got to be careful uh, when you're um, lifting the engine, remembering that this part of it is likely to hit the um, during the initial stages of the engine removal, that it is likely to um, to catch on the uh, the underside of the bulkhead. Uh, so do do bear that in mind, and hopefully that's uh, that's going to be useful for you guys. Mm -hmm.